drinking buddies, spring is almost upon us. And therefore, we need to figure out which releases we should be hunting for this spring. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddy, so let's begin with things that you can already hunt for right now. And I'm going to begin with barrel batch 34. So this is barrel bourbon, um, at least six years old in this blend, but that blend gets much older. Uh, these are really solid. I've never been disappointed by one. Haven't popped it yet, but it is out there. Next up, you guys know I'm not a big Larceny Barrel Proof fan, but those are out there available. So if you are a fan of those bottles, that's something you want to be hunting for right now. A123 is available out there in the wild right now. And so is Elijah Craig A123, but it gets better because there is a newbie joining the bunch. They are releasing a barrel proof Bernheim wheat whiskey for the first time. And that's going to be something that I'm going to try to get my hands on. I really want to review that one. I think it'll be something very interesting. Uh, wheat whiskey from Heaven Hill at barrel proof. Bring it on. I'm excited. Uh, next up, definitely... Um, Whiskey Dell Box Distiller's Cut is already available, 103 proof, really solid, I love this bottle. This was actually a gift from Kurt from SLB Drinks. I don't know if it's available on their website to order yet, but it is available at the distillery, so if you're in Tucson, probably one you want to go pick up. Next up, I know these are kind of not a spring release, they're an all the time release, but they are hitting some really cherry areas of the Rick Houses, and these Russell Reserve single barrels or private selections are really good right now. They're hitting some really good spots. So if you're out there hunting and you see any Russell's Reserve private selections or single barrels, turn it over, look at the Rick houses, do a little Google search, see if they're coming from Camp Nelson's warehouses. They're getting some really cherry barrels coming out of Camp Nelson and they're worth buying. You're definitely gonna wanna look for those. Um, next up, so some things that aren't quite out yet, but you should probably be looking for, definitely wanna be looking for the next batch of Stag Junior 18. Uh, the next batch of Stag Junior is going to be number 18, and they're removing the Junior. The Junior is gone. Um, these are kind of unicorns, but I have a few suggestions for you. I've heard that a lot of like grocery stores that sell liquor or smaller liquor stores are starting to do a lot more waiting lists for things. So if I were you, I would probably try to get in close with your local liquor manager at the grocery store you shop at or the local uh, you know owner of the small liquor store that you shop at and tell them you want to get batch 18 when it comes out and see if you can get at the top of that waiting list before somebody else beats you to it. Uh, next up, a couple more Del Bach bottles while we're talking about Del Bach. Uh, Sentinel, this, this one that I have here was a very small release, but it's going to be a bigger release this time around. So that's something you're going to want to try to land your hands on because really good bottles of rye under 40 bucks don't grow on trees. It's, it's pretty rare to land a good bottle of rye under 40 bucks. Uh, you know, I have a few obviously, but this might be my favorite out of all of them. Um, next up, we have the uh, Del Bach Frontera. Um, and so this is an annual limited release finished in Spanish sherry casks, and it's uh, 97 proof. I will have a review of that to come. And yeah, really, really solid bottle. Love that stuff. Um, next up, we have... Oh, uh, you're probably going to be looking for the newest version of Bookers, if you're really into Bookers. I don't buy them often due to their price point, but I usually like to get one every year. So... I can kind of compare each year, uh, but I don't buy every release. But the release that's coming out right now, or might already be out in some areas, is going to be uh, Batch, Charlie's Batch, and it's going to be Batch uh, 202301. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you're a big Booker's fan. And then next up, I don't believe that it is going to be a fall release, but I know that it's coming out soon. Jack Daniels had the, the uh, Bottled and Bond series. They released this Bonded and then the Triple Mash last year and now to that lineup they're also adding a rye so it's going to be a bonded rye i'm really excited for this one these are great budget options and they're not that hard to find at first they were you couldn't walk into stores and just buy them uh, but now that they're the word is out there and they're producing a lot more of them they're becoming shelf bottles they're becoming bottles you can actually obtain so i cannot wait for the rye to also be in that category because jack daniels makes really good rye and i'm excited for that quite a bit they also have a jack daniels 12 coming out this year now this one might be a little bit more of a unicorn because in 2021 they released a 10 year it's really good um, i wasn't able to find a bottle of it and this one might be even harder to find but if you out there look for that jack daniels 12. i don't know when it's coming out i tried to find a release for it they don't have a release date for it yet but that should be coming soon well drinking buddies that was about uh 10 to 12 bottles that you should be hunting this spring uh, if you have any questions about, you know, ways that'll help you uh, hunt, uh, please leave, please ask me in the comments. I'd be happy to help any uh, newbies out there. 
and uh, uh, definitely subscribe for more. I'm going to uh, be posting a lot, uh, and uh, it's definitely worthwhile to subscribe. It's free. Like the video if you have time. We'll see you on the next one.